How do we build so many tiny, intricately connected devices so incredibly fast? The answer involves a technology called photolithography, which helps us build all the devices on a chip simultaneously. It's like constructing all the buildings in a city at the same time. And with no tiny construction crews to help, we build using light as a measuring and sculpting tool. The process starts with a wafer of silicon, which is doused in solvents and acids to strip it clean before entering a furnace. Here, oxygen gas reacts with the wafer to form a layer of silicon dioxide. Then a liquid called photoresist is spun on and baked to harden. Next, ultraviolet light selectively illuminates the wafer by passing through or reflecting off a specialized mask. In the lit areas, a reaction weakens the photoresist's chemical bonds. The wafer is doused in another chemical to wash away that weakened photoresist, leaving an image of the mask. And an etching machine's reactive gases remove the exposed oxide, creating windows that drill the mask's pattern down to the wafer surface. An implanter then accelerates boron or phosphorus ions and slams them into the patterned openings. These atoms form electropositive or electronegative regions that change silicon's conductivity, creating the foundation of the transistor switch. The etched oxide windows, however, create hill and valley features. Before the next level of copper lines are added, this one's uneven lines must be polished flat to near atomic precision using a sophisticated grinding process called chemical mechanical polishing, or CMP. CMP uses a controlled slurry of submicron ceramic particles to gently scrape and flatten the bumpy features. These fab tools and many others are used hundreds of times on a wafer to create and link transistors into computing logic gates and to make connected neighborhoods for memory storage and computation. Fabs run around the clock and it takes about three months to transform a single wafer from pure silicon into hundreds of chips. 